Hi, Big Sprouts. Are you ready to learn? Today, we're going to continue our Spring is Here theme. Last theme class, we talked about some things we can see in spring, and we also planted our own sunflower seeds. Today, we're going to talk about a little bit more about spring, and we're going to learn how an animal grows. In winter, the weather is cold. Sometimes it snows. As the seasons change, the weather changes also. In spring, the weather becomes warmer. Some days it's warm, some days it's cool. Usually the sun shines brightly and sometimes it rains. It's perfect for new things to grow. So today, let's make a spring picture together. Here I have a beautiful hill, some beautiful clear sky. And over here, I have a lot of different pictures. Let's build a beautiful spring scene. I want to start by putting this lovely house right here. What do you see on this house? I see lots of colorful flowers, perfect for spring. Hmm, let's see. I would also like to put a tree right here on this tree. It also has some colorful flowers. It's spring, so I bet the weather is sunny. Let's put our sun maybe on this side of our picture. It doesn't matter where we put it. It's our picture, right? We can put it anywhere. Let's put our sun at the top. All right, let's see. Some things that we might see in spring. We might see some animals, right? How about this animal right here? What animal is this? It's a rabbit, that's right. It's a gray rabbit, beautiful. Maybe the rabbit is hopping in the grass. All right, let's see what else. Maybe there's something special in our tree. This is a nest and inside the nest, what do you see? I see eggs, how many eggs do you see? One, two, three. There are three eggs. You know what's going to come out of these eggs? Chicks, that's right, baby chicks. We actually already have some we can put in our picture. Let's put two hopping along. Maybe they're playing with the rabbit. We have two chicks. What color are they? They are yellow. That's right, they are yellow. They also have orange feet and orange beaks as well. All right, let's see. Ooh, spring is the perfect time to plant flowers, right? So let's pretend over here we have a little garden, but maybe we want to plant more flowers. This is a seed packet, and inside there are lots of seeds, kind of like the sunflower seed packet we used last class. This is a shovel. It's super tiny. Let me put it here so you can see it. This is a shovel. We might need the shovel to scoop out some dirt to put our seeds inside. The area is much bigger, so we need something stronger to help us. This is a shovel. So we have beautiful sunlight coming down. Um, on our flowers, but what else do flowers need to grow? They need water, right? They need water. So let's put some water in our picture. In spring, sometimes it rains. The water is going to fall, fall, fall down on our flowers, soak into the soil, and more flowers can grow. Trees can grow also helpful for the animals as well, right? Plants and animals need the beautiful sunlight and they need the water to help them grow. You know what else grows in springtime? Butterflies. Let's learn how butterflies grow. Today, we're going to learn how a butterfly grows. Remember, last week class, we learned how a sunflower grows. Today, let's learn how an animal grows. Let's say, I can learn how a butterfly grows. I can learn how a butterfly grows. Perfect. Okay, let's begin. Here is our life cycle picture. We're going to use Play-Doh to help us see how a butterfly grows. So right here, we have our leaf, 
right? Our leaf is hanging off of the tree by a stem. The first step in the butterfly life cycle is a female butterfly, that's a girl butterfly, lays eggs. She will lay her eggs maybe on a stem, maybe on a leaf. Sometimes the eggs are round, sometimes they're open. Sometimes they're smooth, and sometimes they're bumpy. The first step is the egg. Soon, a caterpillar will come out of the egg. The caterpillar will push its way out. So, let's make our caterpillar body. Do you notice I made a pattern? Blue, pink, blue, pink. There's our caterpillar body. Let's give our caterpillar a face and some antenna. So, a caterpillar will come out of the egg, push its way out of the egg. Caterpillars are long and they are hungry. Do you know what caterpillars like to eat? They like to eat leaves. So, the caterpillar is going to eat, 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 crawl all around the tree and eat as much as it can. As soon as the caterpillar grows nice and big, it's going to make itself a house. This house is called a chrysalis. It looks something like this. Chrysalis is usually brown or green. The caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis while it changes into a butterfly. It's gonna wait, 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 wait. As soon as the wings are fully formed, the butterfly is going to slowly come out Let's build our beautiful butterfly here. Let's start with the butterfly body. Here we go. Let's give the butterfly a head and some antennas to help them feel as they fly around. And butterflies have four wings. One, two, I'm going to move this here. Three and four. Four wings. One, two, three, four. Butterflies can be many different colors, but their wings are always the same. Whatever color or design is on one side is the same on the other side. So once the butterfly is out of the chrysalis and ready to fly, it's going to look for food. Butterflies like to drink nectar from flowers. Nectar is like sweet. That is how a butterfly grows. Starts as an egg, say egg. Turns into a caterpillar, say caterpillar. Good. Goes inside of a chrysalis, say chrysalis. Good. And oh, pops a beautiful butterfly, say butterfly. Good. Nice job today, Big Sprouts. You learned how a butterfly grows. Say, I know how a butterfly grows. I know how a butterfly grows. Perfect. Next time you go to the park, see if you can see some beautiful butterflies. See you next time.